Alrighty, y'all, we are in lesson three. This is dressing the loom for multi-shaft weaving. And this is the epically creative weaving course and we're in module five. And I am Amy D. McKnight. In this lesson, you will learn methods of warping. You're also gonna learn the Zenicus technique and you're gonna learn how to warp for four shaft weaving. All right, so methods of warping. There are two main methods for warping a rigid head of loom for multi-shaft weaving. That is warping in strict order and warping in a modified order. Let's look at warping in strict order first. And these, this method is best um, given as an example as it is found in the um, David B. McKinney's book as well as Sign Mitchell's book. So when you warp in strict order, heddle one is shaft one, heddle two is shaft two, heddle three is shaft three, and the slots of the heddle are the pickup sticks, which is shaft four. When you warp, warp with a modified order, you are using David Zanikis technique, and this should look familiar. Heddle one is shaft one, heddle two is shaft three, heddle three is shaft two, and the pickup sticks are your fourth shaft. So there are some pros and cons to warping in strict order. Here they go. So the instructions for this are found in Weaving with Three Heddles by David B. McKinney, um, and more recently in, in Inventive Weaving on Little Loons by Sign Mitchell. Now, it would seem that this would be the most intuitive way to thread because the threading uses the exact placement of the, th of the threading for multi a multi-shaft loom. The problem comes when you go to execute the lift plan. Because of the threading method, you have to do a lot of conversions as threads need to be lowered to achieve lifts. Let me say that again. Threads need to be lowered to achieve lifts. That is just counterintuitive, <laughs> even in the sentence. Ah, there are, is the added step of needing to translate each step from multi-shaft weaving to this world of lowered lifts. Do y'all, are you hearing that? Lowered lifts. Warping in a modified order. All right, the instructions are found in the Zenicus Techniques by um, Mr. Zenicus, and it puts the shafts that are used together beside one another so that the weaving is more intuitive. Now, you can purchase this book on Amazon, but the most up-to-date version can be downloaded for free. I mean, the man is being super generous with us um, from his website. You're gonna to need to download a copy of this book as I will be using it as a reference for the rest of this module. And you don't need to print out the whole thing unless you want to. Um, it could be useful though to print the whole thing out and have it as a reference as you are warping and working through um, the things that we're discussing. So now, how to warp for four shaft weaving. So we're gonna use the off the loom and bring the loom the heddles to the loom method to do this. So you're gonna warp your, your heddles off the loom. And then you're gonna bring all three heddles to the loom. We are not warping one heddle at a time because it doesn't really make sense. You wanna understand where each of the threads are going through each of the heddles. This will allow you to catch your mistakes easier. And it will also, um, it's more close to what a person does when they're warping a multi-shaft loom. They don't just warp all of the all of the first shaft and then warp all of the second shaft. They warp they warp they warp the shaft one, shaft two, shaft three, shaft four, shaft one, shaft two, shaft three, shaft four, if they happen to be working with a four shaft loom. All right. I would suggest starting out that you use the double thread in each slot and hole. This will allow you to warp in the direct warping method as opposed to needing to use the indirect method in a warping board. For most of you, um, as most rigid head weavers are not comfortable or familiar with how to use a warping board, I'm not gonna go on my soapbox as to why you might wanna learn how to use one, but nevertheless, just use the direct um, warping method and you're gonna pull your threads through the slots and holes and use the double threads so that you don't have to do anything more than just figure out where the, each of the double threads are going. All right, so I'm gonna refer you to page 12 of Mr. Zenicus's book, and it's going to show you how you are going to thread your loom. Um, in the study group, we get down to this a little bit more, but 
um, for the purposes of this public video, I'm going to just refer you to page 12 of Mr. Zinnikus book. So in this lesson, you learned methods of warping the Zinnikus techniques and how to warp for four shaft weaving. So take action now, warp along with me as I dress the Cricut loom in straight draw threading. And again, I'm going to be using three heddles of the same dent to do this. If you haven't already, go ahead, download and print out the Expanding Your Options game board, fill it out as you go, hashtag creative multi-shaft weaving. And I again want to invite you to join my weaving community. It may or may not be open at this time. If it's not open, just get on the waiting list and you'll be the first to know when I open it back up. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave me a comment below, subscribe to this channel, ring the notification bell and share this video. Caring is sharing. Help me reach my goal of helping more rigid hello weavers become confident and creative in their rigid hello weaving. In the next lesson, you're going to learn how to weave plain weave, how to add a floating salvage, and how to weave tutu twill. I will see you in that next lesson. Bye.